Hey, good uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today is Thanksgiving. Oh, oh, oh! Have a happy Thanksgiving with a turkey. No, but what's up? Today is uh, November <coughs> November twenty second, twenty twelve. What's up, guys? Fucking, I'm off work for two days. I'm pretty happy, my day. Um, yeah, I'm pretty hyped, uh, I'm gonna eat some ham or turkey today, and eat some pie, and do some stuff, and, uh, today I might be getting one of the best things ever, so, I'm pretty happy today, but, that's enough, let's get started with, you know what it's about, it's about the usuals, right? Alright, so starting off first, we had, a uh, Shippuden 290, which was... One of the most bizarre episodes of Naruto I've ever seen. Um, first off, the animation sucks. Uh, it's definitely in their lower quality animation that they they jump to whenever they're doing filler usually. So, for first off, we have that. Second off, it's about like um, it's a it's a what is it a prequel I guess it's like a flashback mission where like. Team 7 goes to some village that was like grave robbed and some bad stuff was happening too. And along the way they meet Kabuto's actually there and uh, you know not, they, they engage Kabuto in combat. First off what's going on with Kabuto? His hair's all curly now and shit. It looks really weird. Um, but basically the fight escalates and he resurrects uh, Hedan. You know Hedan the guy who's alive still? How the hell do he do that? But he resurrects Hadan, and he goes on this little speech about how the village has like this really unique water that can speed up the um, regeneration thingy. So basically his Edo Tensei can work better. This is probably going to be the village where he um, creates his Edo Tensei or something, or perfects it. So that's probably why this flashback is so important. Um, but then midway through the chapter, after we get a really awesome fight scene, where um, Team 7's fighting off, like, multiple enemies, which is weird, because they actually bring back, like, all of the Edo Tenseis. Not completely all of them, but, like, Itachi and Nag Nagato and all that show up, and you've got to wonder, why is Naruto surprised later on, then, when he sees Nagato and Itachi alive? It's just kind of weird, you know? If he already knows that they can be resurrected, you know, he's going to be a little surprised when he sees them again. Um, but then, yeah, midway through the episode, we get to this little... Cup. Like it says, like Chikari or something pops up on the screen, which means power. And then, like, we, it goes to like this little girl. I think her name is Mina or something. And it's like her, her little brother, and the this grandpa or whatever. She's drawing a picture of like her sensei or something. And basically, the village gets attacked by uh, the Edo Tensei people. You know, you see data flying above, dropping bombs everywhere. This, this village is just getting completely obliterated, which is really cool for Naruto. I mean, we, we don't really get to see that much murdering, at least lately, so it's kind of cool to see that. Um, it really shows, like, how graphic war can get in the Naruto universe, when you've got Deidara fucking airbombing everything, and buildings are getting blown up, little kids are getting killed, and, um, and then we meet a child molester. I forget his name. His name was, like, I don't even know. Um, he's like this chubby guy with glasses, ninja, and he's trying to save kids everywhere, and I don't know. This guy just gave me a really weird pedo vibe, and I know he's not, but he, I don't know. I feel like he is. Um, it was a really interesting episode. I don't really know if it was bad or good. It was kind of boring for a little bit, but then it was just kind of, I don't know. I don't even really know how to describe this episode. So, um, yeah, I don't know. <coughs> Ooh. Next up is Fairy Tale 157. Um, it was a pretty okay episode. Uh, we basically learned more about Wendy's status and how she's um, suffering from like mana. What is she? She's like missing her mana or something. Or... I care. She has like some mana sickness and um, what's her name? Gwendine? Glandine? Glandine? I don't even remember her name. The the uh the wo the old woman who helps Fairy Tale. She comes up and saves Wendy and heals her. And um, we also get the day one appearance of Fairy Tale at the tournament. They've got their new outfits. They're um introducing all the other teams and 
Eh, this is just kind of like an introduction episode. It was okay. Next up, we had One Piece 573, which was pretty damn good. I liked it. Uh, basically, it was the Straw Hats leaving the Fishman Island. and uh, There was like this huge promise with the princess about how they're going to come back and they're going to go and adventure together. And, eh. And then we actually had a flashback. I can't remember what the hell the flashback was about. Um. Oh. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Um. Yeah, I can't even remember. I just remember there was a flashback involved in this episode. <laughs> um, it was a pretty good episode. I don't re really remember it sucking. I feel like it was so long ago, you know? I, normally I have like. I can, I'm like a little refreshed in my memory more, but. I can't really remember. So, all I know is it was a pretty good episode. Then we had Sword Art Online episode 20, which was awesome. Um, yeah, basically, they finally show up at the meeting where the uh, Salamander bad guys were getting, gonna go invade or whatever during the peace treaty, and um, Kirito shows up, you know, he's like talking to their leader. He's like, well, I'm gonna fight you. And then he's like, alright, well, if you can survive, I'll leave or whatever, and Kirito kicks the shit out of this guy. Um, he's also the best player in the world, too. So you gotta remember. Kirito is like a day two player, or day three player at this point. So he kicks the living shit out of that guy. Um, he ends up like basically getting both of the leaders of the guilds, or both of the the race factions actually on his on his dong. They're like right on it. Um, you know, you've got the elves and you've got the cat people. They're like, yo, Kirito, man, we need that dick. And he's like, oh, no. So. It was a pretty interesting episode. Uh, the episode ended with Asuna actually escaping her jail cell, which was pretty, uh... I mean, I knew it was going to happen because she's been watching that dude enter in the password, but it's happening pretty fast. So, that's pretty cool. Then we had Brakumin, Season 3, Episode 6. I'm sure the Episode 7's out now, but this was last week's episode. Um, it was a pretty, pretty good episode. But, mainly the, um... Finally, uh... Mashiro and Shuji and they finally make up or whatever and they figure out what was going on between each other and basically they're just trying to cover for each other um, you know Mashiro was just kinda like going on his own so Shuji could do his own thing with that guy but then Shuji was like doing that thing to help him get better at drawing faster and uh, they were both basically being retards then they have a little fight scene you know like each men gotta fight it out you know they gotta duke it out man you know how it is um, yeah, and they basically, uh, Mashiro decides he's gonna make a romance manga, and they end up actually starting, like, this whole m romance anime, or manga, uh, like, competition between all the other mangakas, and it's pretty sweet. Um, I don't think his won, though. I can't remember what place this came in, but it was pretty cool. Uh, then we had Dexter, Season 7, Episode 8, which... Am I missing an episode of something this week? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Dexter this week was really good. Um, the, finally, the bad guy is coming after Dexter, shooting him at a donut store. Like, what's up? Um, there was this really badass talk scene with the bad guy. Um, and finally, Deb's confession. So, this was a pretty eventful episode. I liked it. Then we had Walking Dead Season 3, Episode 6, which was... Pretty damn awesome, I gotta say. Um, you know, Rick is going crazy. He's hallucinating everywhere, and uh, pretty much everybody else is having to step up. Daryl and Meg go into town to get some baby formula. And, uh, what was the other plot going on in this episode? Oh, yeah, it was just like, uh, oh my god, I forget that blonde chick's name every time. Andre. Is it Andrea or something like that? Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. She's basically just farting around over the town and hanging out with the governor. And obviously, something bad going to happen. She's going to see the bad side of this guy sooner or later. Um, but Michonne and Merle end up having a fight out in the woods. and That leads into a pretty crazy plot point where Merle actually kidnapped Gwen, Glenn, and Maggie. So, Michonne was heading towards the... Um, jail at the end of the episode, so that's going to be pretty interesting next episode. Um, yeah, it basically covers everything I watched. I mean, I watched Walk, uh, 
How I Met Your Mother Season 8 Episode 7 also, which, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. That was basically just an episode of Barney trying to get into a new strip club, and Marshall trying to get his old friend into his law firm, and, yeah, it was okay. As for games I've played this week, pretty much just Halo for Black Ops 2, League of Legends, a uh, little Final Fantasy 4 still. Yeah. Um, I think that covers everything I've played and watched. Um, as for my what did I buy this week, it's going to be a huge, huge one. Um, little teaser, this is the most I've spent on stuff in any of my weekly up or my weekly buy videos. So. You guys are uh, you guys are gonna be like, what's going on, man? You're spending quite a bit of money, probably. And you know what? Psh, taloko. You know what? Hell yeah. All right. Thank you for watching, guys.